Hi, my name is Chase Baller. I'm Section's lead AI consultant. Today, I want to show you how to use Claude to optimize SEO for website content. I'm going to be using a newsletter or a blog, but this will work for any kind of web page. So what you'll need, you're going to need a Claude free pro or teams account, your content, and the prompts in this document. You're going to want to replace everything in bold and brackets with your own content. So the first thing I'm going to do is analyze my article and suggest improvements for on-page SEO. So things like the title tag, meta description, header structure, keyword usage, and internal linking. So let's hop over to Claude. I've copied out my prompt. And I'm going to paste my prompt in here. I'm going to replace this with article. And then I'm going to hop over to my website, go to my resources, and grab my blog post that I'm looking for. And I'm simply just going to copy all this text information into Claude. I could copy code in here as well if I'd like to for my web page content. So it's going to paste it in there. Then I'm going to hit enter. And so now it's going to analyze and provide some specific recommendations for things like my title tag, my meta description, the header structure, the keyword usage, internal linking, and then any content enhancements. So this looks pretty good. I've already got some internal linking here that it can't actually see, and that's okay. So we're going to ignore that for now, but it could be good if you don't have any other internal linking. It's giving me some recommendations on keyword usage, but I want to dive in a little bit more on that because it's something I specifically want to optimize for. So that's all really good. In my next step, I'm going to actually target the specific keyword. So I'm going to come in here, paste my prompt, use the same piece of content, we're going to do some specific keyword targeting for custom GPT. And one thing I'm asking it to do here is suggest edits for the keyword and use the existing content. Don't change any of the toner stuff. So it's actually going to put the title tag, the meta description, the header structure, and the content edits in here as well. And then it's going to paste all of this information or continue writing for me and making edits as we go along. It's giving me some additional keyword recommendations, some internal linking, this all looks pretty good. And then in my final step, I just want to use all the information together again. And I want it in a nice, clean artifact. So artifact is a dedicated piece of content on the right-hand side of the screen. And it's usually over 20 lines long, but it gives me this workspace, this dedicated place to put all this content. So what it's actually doing here is going through and rewriting everything for me. So it's giving me my new title for the page. It's giving me my new meta description. And then it's actually rewriting the content for me. So if you'll notice in the last artifact, it was saying insert your content here as blocks so that I had to go in and paste it in myself. But now it's actually rewritten all of this for me. So I can simply read through this, copy and paste it into a Word doc, make my edits that I need to before posting it or publishing it on my site. And it's all done for me with Claude in these three prompts.